Welcome back! In this video we're going to finish writing Hangman game. We will learn how to use a for loop and how to generate random numbers. Let's begin. I have already created the game myself and from now on I will explain what I have done line by line. Let's start by randomly selecting a word that the player will have to guess. We can use uniform function to get a random number of the index from our words list. Inside the parentheses we need to put the range, so generate numbers from 0 to 10. Then we use that index to select the word from our words list. We also need an array of characters that we're going to modify and display to the screen. Display word variable is initialized by a for loop. To use a for loop inside the parentheses we need to create an iterator. We start from 0 and go up to words length. And we need to increment our iterator by 1 every time. We initialize the variable by assigning underscores that depict how many letters a word has. Then we need to create a boolean variable to track the game state. I changed the return type of the main menu function from void to boolean from the previous video. The reason is, once our game greets the player, and if the player decides to play, then the function returns false, and game over becomes false. Otherwise, game over is true, and game quits. Let's take a look at our game loop. Before the game loop, we create a guess variable, where we store the player's guess, and an integer variable, because we need to know how many letters were guessed by the player. Inside our game loop, we print our variable with underscores. Print word is a function I have created to separate the code. It basically prints three empty lines, before and after the word, to separate it from the rest of the text and make it easier to read. Then we prompt the player to guess a letter and we display how many lives he has left. With the help of readf function, we read the input. And here comes game logic. First of all, we create a temporary variable to store how many letters were guessed. Then we iterate through the word and check whether that word contains the letter our player has entered. If so, we want to uncover the letter by displaying it next time on the screen, and we need to increment the letter guest variable by 1. If the word does not contain the letter our player has entered, then we do not increment letter guest variable. So if player made the mistake, then the number of letters guest is the same, therefore we need to decrease the number of lives our player has by 1. Now let's move on and take a look at this if statement. If player has guessed all of the letters, that is, if our variable that we print to the screen and our randomly selected word are the same, then the player has won, and we break from the loop. However, if the player has no more lives left, then he lost the game. We print a word that was selected and break from the loop as well, and in the very end, we thank our player. Let's try it out! That's it for today. If you have any questions, write a comment below. In the next video, we will discuss the difference between passing a variable by value and by reference. And we will create tic-tac-toe game. Have a nice day.